weekend. What I'm keeping my fingers because there are going to be some thundery showers around. Actually, I was just thinking it was as well that Helen got back when she did because it's going to get very windy in the eastern Atlantic before long. That's the low pressure that's given us the thundery conditions. It is going to be easing away during the course of the next couple of days. The weather cheers up for a time, but then into next week, just look at what happens. A deep area of low pressure brings in some wet and very windy weather. That, of course, is a long way off and things may well change. But the most important thing, at least as far as I'm concerned, is that we are going to get lower temperatures at night. Much, much better. We're not going to get these awful sticky conditions any longer. That is after tonight. It's going to be quite warm tonight. Now, we've had some thundery weather move up during the night. We've had some brushing close to eastern parts this morning. And we have this band of clouds still lying across much of England and Wales. That's going to act as a trigger, I think, for some showers. So at Edgbaston today, there could well be a heavy and thundery shower, equally some showers there tomorrow. And it's the same story for Wimbledon, although perhaps not such a great chance of showers at Wimbledon as there might be in Birmingham. It's rather grey and murky in many places as well, but all the while it'll be gradually brightening up, and that means to say that we will find, as the temperatures rise, that the showers break out, more particularly over England and Wales, the odd one perhaps in central Scotland. Around many of these coasts, though, especially northern-facing ones, it's going to stay grey and murky throughout the afternoon. So we have a little weather watch for you of some heavy downpours if you're unlucky enough to get one of those really nasty thunderstorms. Quite warm and humid too in most places. Highest temperatures, I think, in the northwest of England where the sun broke through quite early. On the other hand, coolish around the coast. Any of the thundery showers will rumble on into the evening and then eventually fade away. Over England and Wales, it's going to end up misty with some patches of fog. On the other hand, some thundery rain working its way into central and eastern parts of Scotland later on in the night. And as I said, it's going to be another warm and sticky night at least it is in the south. The low pressure is still around through tomorrow, but it's slowly pulling away. But it is going to be close enough, I think, to still give some showery outbreaks of rain in many central and eastern parts. And again, in the southeastern corner, some of those showers could turn out to be quite heavy. Brighter and drier, though, in the west. The low pressure pulling further away into Sunday. A little bit of a ridge coming in from the west. So although we'll start off with some outbreaks of rain, I think, in these more eastern areas, it should get brighter and drier. And it's going to be fresher too, but as you saw at the beginning, it's going to be unsettled into next week. There will be some outbreaks of rain spreading across, getting quite windy as well. That's